Hey guys, it's Thunder Splash, and in this episode, we're going to be talking about how to collect coins and add it to your HUD. Alright, let's get into it. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click on Blueprint Class, pick Actor, and then we're going to rename the Blueprint Class to Coin Blueprint. Next, we'll click, look for user interface, select widget blueprint, and then we'll change it to coin widget. After that, we're gonna double click on coin blueprint. Go to add component and type in cube. Next, we'll rename it. And then we'll adjust the size for the coin. After we've done that, we're going to type in box and look for a box collision. We'll attach it to the coin and then we will resize it. After that, with the collision box selected, we'll scroll down and we'll look for on component begin overlap. Next, we'll look for cast a third person character. and then we will search for Destroy Actor. Hit Compile. After that, we'll drag the coin to the blueprint. Search for Add Local Rotation. Then we will connect it to Event Tech. Next, we'll click on Delta Rotation and search for Make Rotator. Now we will adjust the yaw to 0.7. And then we'll search for a branch. After that, we'll add a variable, make sure it's boolean, and rename it to up and down. After that, we connect it to the branch. Next, we'll grab the coin, put on the blueprint, and look for Add Local Rotation. Then we'll connect it to the branch to make sure it's true. And then we'll go back to Delta Rotation and search Make Rotator. After that, we'll add a branch. After that, we'll grab the coin and search Get Relative Location. Then we'll split Structure Pen. After that, we'll look for if float is greater or equals to float. And we'll type 50. And we'll connect it to the branch condition. Next, we'll get the up and down variable and connect it to the branch to make sure it's true.
After that, we'll change the yaw to 0.2. After that, we'll copy and paste. Next, we'll get rid of this, and we'll change it to float is less than or equals to float. Connect it to the branch. And then we'll make sure the rotator is negative 0.2. And we'll connect the add local rotation to the branch and make it false. Then we'll click on the variable up and down, make sure it's checked. Hit compile. All right, so now that we've done that, let's go to third person character blueprint. Go to event graph. We'll add a variable. We'll label it total coins. And we're gonna change it to an integer. Hit compile. After that, we'll make sure capsule component is selected and we'll look for on component begin overlap. Then we'll look for a cast to coin. After that, we'll grab total coins, bring it to the blueprint, and we'll look for integer plus integer. And then we'll grab total coins one more time, connect it to the cast to coin blueprint, and make sure it's connected to integer plus integer. After that, we'll double click on coin widget. We'll look for horizontal box. Drag it onto the screen. And readjust it. And we'll anchor it to the middle. Next, we'll type in text. Drag it in there and we'll adjust the padding to 25. Then we'll bring out that one more time. Then we'll adjust that to 25 as well. Once we're done with that, we're going to rename the text. Now we're going to create binding. After that, we'll click on get text one, and we'll search for a cast the third person character. Once we're done with that, we'll click on object and look for get player character. After that, we'll click on ask third person character, and we'll search for total coins. Once we're done with that, we're going to look for a two text integer. And then we're going to connect it to the return node. Hit compile. Next, we're going to click on blueprints, look for game mode, and edit third person game mode. After that, we're going to search for event begin play. Next, we'll search for create widget. And then we're going to add a viewport to it. Now we go back to our widget and we select coin widget. Hit compile. Now all we have to do is just drag our coin onto our map. All right, so now that we have everything set up, the last thing we got to do is just make it look like a coin.
All right, there you go. And that is how you make rotating coins in Unreal Engine. Hey guys, if you like these type of videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Later.